In the spirit of transparency, the Commission gave media access to polling stations, telling centers and the results portal to report progress of election results in real time. The original intention was that various media houses will join hands and have a consortium through Kenya Media Sector Working Group report on the progress of election results in real time from one source. However, the media houses opted to do it independently, which is for decisions beyond the Commission's control. And we take note that as a result of that, the tallies across the media houses vary, and uh, we appreciate that this may be so, because each media house is accessing the public portal of the result forms at different times, and each is using its own criteria and sequencing among other uh, factors, including perhaps different uh, uh, amounts of resources deployed. But just want to inform Kenyans that uh, the final announcement and declaration of the presidential result will be done by the national returning officer here at Bomas and what may be happening at the media houses showing various uh, results we hope at the end of the telling they'll be harmonized and they'll look uh, similar because the results are from the same source the same public uh, portal so there should be no panic about the differences we are seeing on the media screens, TV screens, because of the approaches the media houses may have taken. The Commission has ensured that there's 100% availability around the clock of the results portal, uh, which we are all accessing to ensure and guarantee a transparency. Everyone was eager to know the next uh, uh, president-elect of the Republic of Kenya and uh, they started uh, demanding for the official announcement of the winner and here is the result. Odinga Raila, total valid votes 6,942,930. And this represents 48.85% of the votes garnered and the, he achieved a number of counties the candidate attained with at least 25% of the total valid votes cast is 34 counties. Ruto William Samoy Number of valid votes, 7 million. Thank you, 7 million, 176,141. This represents 50.49%. I appear for the 18th respondent and the 21st respondent, uh, together with my landed friends, uh, Mr. Paul Mwangi, uh, Professor Ben Sihanya, my landed friend, Mr. Jackson Mawele, Mr. Arnold Ucheng Oginga, Ms. Winfred, Winfred Makaba. Uh, from our point of view, we fully support the remarks made on behalf of the two appellants, namely the Attorney General and the IABC. It is our view that this matter should be fully ventilated. Uh, the matter, although being heard and considered uh, by the court, but there's a great deal of public interest in this matter. The Kenyan people would want to know uh, the arguments and the positions of the various parties 
as ventilated before the court. They don't have the privilege of having the written submissions. And my lady and the court, this is probably the, one of the most important cases that would ever come before the Supreme Court uh, um, on the Constitution. Secondly, my lady, um, we appear for the t uh, two respondents. We filed a joint submissions. In the submissions, you'd find that in respect of each respondent, the matters we are dealing with in respect of both respondents, some of them are common and others are not common. But I'd urge you that if you had to give the Attorney General and the ABC a little bit more time, then on our part, an additional five minutes since we are appearing for two respondents um, would be appreciated uh, since uh, if you look at our written submissions we are almost uh, dealing with all the issues that are being raised by the appellants so we would pray that you give us uh, five additional minutes five additional minutes uh, and that would only be possible if the Honorable Attorney General and the IABC are given a little, a little bit of more, a little bit more time. Uh, thank you. There was demonstration uh, on some parts of Kenya. Many people who are puzzled on the means of transport, on the uh, kind of vehicle that the Hustlers Nation were using uh, during uh, their campaign. This vehicle over here surprised many, the young uh, elders and uh, each and every person who was following this particular campaign and uh, they were puzzled. But uh, it, will, it, it is what it is, and uh, as Chepukati uh, uh, announced the result, uh, you know, he announced uh, the result uh, uh, with uh, a lot of claims from uh, the agency uh, or the agents of uh, the, you know, uh, of uh, the Azimio uh, coalition whereby they uh, said that uh, they have not signed a particular uh, document which is really essential and uh, uh, as the agent of the Azmir, uh, they were advising Chepukati not to announce that result unless they counter check they, uh, so that they can ensure that uh, it is the result that they have been telling uh, over uh, the past uh, one week that uh, uh, many Kenyans went to the ground and voted for their, pref uh, for their preferred uh, candidate. But uh, Chebukati on um, the other side, uh, he didn't uh, uh, listen to uh, the agents. He went ahead to announce uh, the result with uh, a lot of mistake uh, and uh, as he was announcing uh, four of the commissioners, remember there is uh, seven commissioners in this particular, uh, you know, IEBC, the uh, Independent Electoral and uh, Boundaries Commission. Four of them came out and said that uh, the result that were announced uh, were very opaque and they didn't support uh, that particular move. So as Chepukati was announcing the result over there, uh, the four commissioners who were uh, on the other side of the uh, hotel announcing uh, how the process has been opaque and, uh, and that the Azimio coalition should not uh, abide or rather uh, give in and to the result that was announced by Mr. Chepukati, the chairman of the IEBC, uh, Wafula Chepukati.
Alloys, thank you so so much for your continued support. Continue subscribing, and I'm back in full force. Thank you, and may God bless you as we undertake this particular process till at the end. Thank you, and may God bless you.